to share with you all a story that was relayed to me the other day by a 12-year-old autistic PDA girl and her mother that has haunted me ever since I heard it. A few months ago, during a drama lesson, the autistic PDA girl, to whom I will be referring as C from now on, along with the rest of her class, were put into teams for a class assignment. Teamwork has been noted on C's pupil profile as something she struggles with and needs a lot of support around. One child in C's group took the lead and decided on behalf of C the particular role he wished her to play. C refused to play this role and opted to play another. This decision was met with resistance and the child who assigned C the role reported the situation to the staff member in charge of the drama lesson. The staff member hastily intervened and called C aside to chat with her at the desk. Why can't you just be happy like everyone else? asked the staff member. C referred to her pupil profile. It says I don't have to do teamwork, C answered. The decision to self-advocate at this juncture must have taken a lot of courage, given how the entire blame was unjustly placed on her. Yes, I have read your pupil profile until I was blue in the face, the staff member snarked. C then cried, as by this point she was feeling understandably overwhelmed. Are you done yet? the staff member added. Those tears may have worked in year four, but they do not work in year seven. Just as I thought it impossible for this human to be any more heartless and callous, they went and topped it all off with, if C was looking down on herself from a camera, what would C think of her actions? The staff member asserted that the, chil the other children could not have heard what was said between her and C, which subsequently turned out to be untrue, as another student was so upset and disturb disturbed by this exchange and C's distress, that they reported it back to their parents. Guess what this staff member's role is? They are an ELSA, Emotional Literacy Support Assistant and Wellbeing Lead. Yes, you heard me right. I find myself so angry about this and disgusted with the odious splotch of sphincter juice that I don't actually have the words or the composure to articulate myself. These people are responsible for your children. For the record, I have met C and she is a most delightful legend. She nor anyone else deserves this kind of foul and unacceptable treatment. This is why we autistic people develop CPTSD and grow up to hate ourselves and the world that degrades our very existence.